So tonight we are graciously and humbly doing our top five boobs in horror. It's got to be horror movies. We can always do another one down the road where it's top five boobs in all genres, but specifically we're doing top five boobs in horror movies. Yes. And, I'm uh, so fired. <laughs> Colin, hey, Colin already dropped his top five. He dropped his load already. Look yeah, Colin blew his load. He gave all five already. He, <laughs> he couldn't hold up. He's like, I couldn't hold up. There you go. <laughs> So that, top five, number five. Debbie Voice at number five. Oh, I still love you. Uh, Delia Shepard, Witchcraft, Fan, Vampire 74, Linton's American Wolf in London. Oh, the porno scene. Wow, that's deep. I forgot it. Didn't think of that. They go uh, up on the screen when he's in when he's in the, the porn theater. Yeah. From Fascination. Yeah. Okay. Colin went, he went deep. I knew he would. I knew he would. Oh, yeah. Deep cut, deep cut. Good stuff, though. Ooh. And there's a lot um, of uh, honorable mentions, by the way. So we're gonna be on this subject for a little bit. Fuck. Let's be truth be told, there's four guys <laughs> here. We talk tits all night. <laughs> hey, I, threw, I threw in a couple of uh, man boobies as well, just to even out the playing field. So we're not. Yeah, we, we, we even after we get our through our top five, I'm sure we can just keep talking. Boobies, okay? <laughs> for so my number there. five, my number five, albeit they're not big, they're not the most spectacular, but. If Freddie was here, he would be right on track with me here. So, because they were a moment in time that we just loved and they just looked perfect and, and the moment that they were in. So, for me, I, I have to look up her name again Paige Hannah, Creep Show 2, The Raft. Oh. Oh. oh you're a big Creep I, Show guy. You love it. Right? Yeah. He, he, She's she's passed out and that creepy bash is lifting her shirt up. He's checking out her tits. He starts starts licking everything. And next thing you know, it all just grabs her by the head and pulls her underneath. Terrible. Yeah. Creep creep show oh. the raft. You animal. <laughs> Look at Bill. <laughs> new new talk show. Talking tits with Patrick Rank. <laughs> <laughs> and tonight we have as our special oh. guest. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god! Oh yeah, the wife will love that. What are you doing? I'm doing a new show called Talking Tits. She's like, what? Uh, that is, that is funny. You got to have two people on the show so you can have a pair. You know exactly. You, you, you got to have a pair. Of, you got to have a pair of boobs. <laughs> two boobs. Oh shit! That that'd be another great name. Two boobs on tits. Oh man! Two boobs talking tits. I I can't. Oh man! Is it my? What's your number five? Oh man. This sucks. Um, number five. I can't say her name right, but it's she's from uh, Friday Thirteenth, the remake, two thousand nine. Uh, Juliana Gil Gillis Gills. Oh, her tits are spectacular. That one. That girl. Yes. That girl. It, just because of the commentary, just because of everything involved with that scene, it makes my top five because they were fantastic. All that. You know. Seriously, I dream about they're those. Amazing. They're all all the descriptors. Um, you know, that guy gave it, uh, gave us that actor, whatever his name is. Uh, but that's my number five, starting off with a young set, a young pair. Very nice. Yeah, there you go, Colin. <laughs> Perfect. <nipple. laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Joe, uh -oh. this is, this is a true story and I have to, I have to name drop this and yes. I'm sorry. Cause I don't usually like doing this, but this is a true story. Good. Years ago, I was at a phone banking fundraising thing, uh, that, people volunteer for it. And we sat at these really long tables uh, and you just had your phone and your list and you did your thing, but the seats weren't claimed. Like people could come and go as they wanted. Well, at one point in the afternoon, I was like getting kind of like bored and, you know, I've been doing it for like three hours. And I looked to my left at the girl that had sat next to me and it was Juliana Gill. No shit. And I like was like, and I like texted Jennifer. I was like, oh my God, that girl from Friday the 13th is sitting in the chair right next to me. I was like, should I say something? Like, should I, like, what do I do? So, yeah. I would said, dude. Was, I was like, honey, nice taste. Like, like, I get it. Like, that scene. Perfect nipple placement. It's a, it's a, a number, <laughs> number one, I like that film. The film overall is great. I but, love that remake. Yeah. It's one of my that, favorite remakes. That sex scene, yep. you know, it had to have it, was just. It's perfect. It's perfect for the film. It matches the film. It's a great set. She's a lovely actress. I, I think she's just she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. That's all. Oh. Oh, that's a great story. I'm a little jealous. Nice. Right. Right, let's go to Lurch. Lurch. Boobs. You're right. All right. So she don't she don't have much there, but 
man, I fucking love her, dude. Uh, Danielle Harris and Rob Zombie's Child. Oh. Oh. Yeah, she didn't make my list, but yeah, it was nice. It was it was more about just seeing her topple than anything. Yeah. They're much bigger now because she had some surgery done, but that's a different story. Okay. She flew on some like nobody's business. They're on calendars. Oh, yeah. They're on she calendars. The floor, man. Yeah, they're on calendars. They're on uh, cups. They're on, you name it. They're everywhere. She knows what she's doing. She's a business woman. And I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to run to the restroom right quick. Do it up. Do it up. Go right ahead. What about boobies got you excited there? Alert you. What about you, Lito? <laughs> Number five. Okay, so um, I came up with this list on the fly because I didn't know that I was going to be here doing this. And then, of course, I asked my wife if I could, if this was going to be, a, you know, an issue later. Uh, so <laughs> this is totally. No issue with me because my wife doesn't is, watch the show. So <laughs> I, I don't want that. You know, you got to you got to make sure you're you're OK there. So you make sure you go on the home front, my brother. Yes. And yes. Yeah, so <laughs> so if Pat, you don't have to if you don't need to. If you want to abstain. You can upstand and let us do it. I promise. No, it's all good. It's okay. okay. So, so I'll run through my honorable mentions real quick because Lurch is in the bathroom. Honorable mention: Kathleen Kinmont, Rose McGowan, and Scream. Jennifer Love Hewitt, and I know what you did last summer, and Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween because she's underrated in that department because of her because of her outfit. But as we all know from later. Trading places, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we uh, save, save that list because because we did do another one where we did booby snubs. Well, our oh, top five okay. snubs where okay. we thought we were going to see boobs and we didn't. So save that list. We'll okay. help you on for that. Okay, and then uh, my number five is they they weren't bared, but I know they're beautiful because she was a big uh, let's just say fantasy object when I was in college. Jenny McCarthy as Sarah Darling in Scream 3. Oh, yes, oh wow, nice. Yes. I don't know if you rem I don't know if you remember the outfit or anything, but uh no, I remember in the film, yeah. but I'm trying to think of the outfit. I, I don't remember. I have to go back and rewatch. Very nice. Hope I didn't know, miss bro. too much. Who did Lito say? <laughs> Jenny McCarthy. Oh man, I love her. She's a legend. Yeah. I loved her on MTV. Yeah. What was it? Love that love show. Um was it singled out, wasn't it? Wasn't singled it singled out? out? Yeah, brother. There you yeah. go. Singled out. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, she's a bomb. Yeah. Super sexy. Very nice. So, all right. So let's go. Well, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. My number four. So my number four. It goes back to my love. Guess being an adolescent trying to find <laughs> boobs in movies. So Susie Slater from Chopping Mall. So for those who don't remember, you guys remember the movie Chopping Mall when they're laying there and she wants she wants a pack of cigarettes and he's like, oh, come on, come on. And she walks away. She goes, she goes, well, maybe this will make you move faster. Ooh. She drops her shirt. And, and he's just like, I'll be right back. <laughs> I got my guy. He's a little bit. Oh, and then got, she goes looking for him later and she's, su she's super, super. I don't remember her even being anything after that, but man. <sighs> And that's another movie where you have Barbara Crampton in, who's very high on my list, and that's coming up. She's hot. She's hot. Oh, yeah. All what right. about you, Joe? So my number four uh, is going to go to uh, Meatloaf, who appears as uh, Bob in Fight Club. <laughs> 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 you remember the character Bob? He's a fat ass with a big old titty. Do you remember that? <laughs> 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 and I said it's John, man. Nice I didn't. Say, I didn't say. Oh, sorry. I should. Have, I should have said women's boobs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know, you know, but no, I'm just kidding. I'm you, just kidding. Oh you God! If it was man that. boobs, I could have showed oh, you yeah. my man boobs. It's gonna shit out of everybody. No, I'm just kidding. My number four uh, is Debbie Sweetie's from uh, Friday Five: A New Beginning. Um, oh yeah. They're just oh. legendary, and everybody knows she got picked for that. Cool. For those two reasons. So, um, yeah, super sexy chick. Still listen. Love them. She's a silver fox now, and she's still beautiful. Still banging. Yes. <laughs> you got Lurch? My number four is uh, Trash's graveyard scene in Return to the Living Dead. Oh, they quickly. Yeah. 
dance is so iconic. You can give her a two for because she oh, she showed him in uh yeah, Silent Night Deadly Night also. Yeah, her body is full package, man. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I love that he's not wrong. Where, where you put the is it is that someone where they, she pushes a fixed cigarette in the booby, right? Or something like that? I think so. It's been a while. Is it Night of the, so is it night yeah, of the Demon? Yeah. Yes. It's not, it's not yeah. a demon. So she takes that cigarette and put, but it's not her really, her boo, it's like a, you know, whatever. And it, ugh, it's so cool. It's creepy. The thing that killed me for that was when I watched the Return of the Living Dead documentary and I found that she was wearing a bodysuit. Yes. And it just killed it for me. Oh, man. Every yeah. time I watch the film, it kills it. I'm like, why did I have to know that? Yep. <laughs> because Look, it, just it just ruined it for just me. just ruined Lurch's list. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like, that just kicked me in the balls. Thank you for that. No, Wait. you know what? You know what you did? You know what you did? You know when on the internet when people say it ruined my childhood, you ruined his childhood. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Bill. It's a lipstick in the nipple. There you go, Bill. You're right, Bill. You're lipstick right. in the nipple. Yep. Yeah. That's right. You know, lipstick uh, in the nipple sounds sounds like uh, the name of a Japanese uh, sex anime film or something. Oh, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Bill's Lips. favorite boobs or whatever ones are currently in the movie I'm watching at the time. <laughs> that sounds like a cool rock band, right? Lipstick nickel. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lipstick nipple. <laughs> Slash of Fred, favorite boobs. Stacey Alden from Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. What, what she's, on my, she's on my list. <laughs> uh, those are sexy. Those are the ones that look like, um, you know, the, they have slope. They're very Somehow slopey. They're very. They go, they go like that, but then it like, it's like a, a, a launch pad. They're, they're very aerodynamic. Very yeah, aerodynamic. Have you ever seen Zero we, we are, from a, a Nightmare on Elm, uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas? Zero, the dog, the, the nose. You know, it looks yeah. like that. <laughs> it looks like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> Where did this go? Nick, nipple back. <laughs> nipple back. <laughs> oh, love it. I love it. Uh, we have de we have de derailed. <laughs> we have derailed, my friend. Uh. My number four is uh, Pamela Susan Shoop from Halloween Two. Oh yeah, she's on my list. Yep. Let's give a round of applause, shall we? Coming round up of applause for Pamela yeah, Susan Shoop. Uh, uh. When I was a little guy, when I was just a little tyke guy, she was like, "Yeah, wow, yeah." I think, truth be told. Aside from PJ Soul's boobs, that was probably the second set of boobs I saw. Yeah. And yeah. what what well, makes pair. sense given Yeah. Yeah. What a pair. I mean, that's synonymous with hot tub. Is it cold you in know, here? Like it's it's just a great little scene overall. You get two kills in yeah. one, you know, involved in that scene. So it's really a great, great moment. Oh yes. Uh. If you guys are into the Jala movies, Edwish Finish, oh my god. Oh. She's never got clothes on in any wow. any of those movies, and she was some some smoking. <laughs> totally hot, totally hot. <laughs> Love her in those movies. <sighs> yeah, this is coming up. It's high up on my list, Colin. So I'm at number. So, yep, number three. I'm piggybacking off of uh, you, Pamela Susan Shoop. Sexy. Got to love it. Sexy. I mean, come on. You just saw those. Did she dropped that towel. You were just like. Yep. Yeah, and that was a big. That was a huge part of it too. Was just the way that the path that happened. Now. Yeah, it was just. Uh, yeah. Oh, I and I can honestly remember because that was I remember. Like I said, we have to do this thing where we remember movies that we saw where we were and what time and place. Seeing Halloween two in the theater with my friends in eighty one and my my brother and my cousins. I remember when she dropped that towel. Everybody was like, Yeah. <laughs> Every guy in that theater just clapped. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Shout out to Pamela Susan Shoup, who I, I wish would have been at age 45. You ain't lying. Her line would have been through the fucking door. Uh -huh. Holy shit. Yeah. I was disappointed about that. I'll mm -mm. say you, Joe. Number, number three. Okay. I think I have some people out there who are going to really appreciate the selection. I really thought hard about this one. Uh, I'm a big fan of this movie, Return of the Living Dead 3, uh, from 1993. Do you remember this Melinda Clark? 
Remember mm-hmm. that? She, uh, you see the boobies and you see the nipples and they have like the piercings with all the shards of glass sticking out. And she's a zombie. Dude, I had the biggest crush on her uh, back in the day, man. So Melinda Clark, bro. Oh, my God. She's the best. Best. Oh, no nice. seconds. But I'll, uh, I'll calm down. Oh, Cassandra <laughs> Peterson. Go on. I love her Playboy spread in the 80s, in the 70s, rather. Yeah. I, if I, I should get it put on, I, I should get it put on a shirt. <laughs> I love it. So that's my number my, uh, three. What about you, Larch? So my number three is uh, the mother from Barbarian. Oh, <laughs> seriously, no, it's, uh, it's Barbara Baby. Crampton and reanimated. I was like, What? Baby. 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 <laughs> it's uh, Barbara Crampton and reanimator for my number three. You scallywag. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you. Oh, shit. You, right. you. Oh, God. Do we love Barbara Crampton? That, that's still a come on my list. I'm telling you, it's coming. And what's the other Nothing one that, uh, fr- from Beyond? Where from beyond, that, oh, where she's yeah. in that uh, S&M outfit. S&M, oh my god, man! And she still looks amazing, man. Mm-hmm. Awesome sauce. Yeah, I watched her. We're, that, we're uh, all gonna. Into a we're gonna all need to head. to dump some cold water on our heads after this. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have to after the after the shower after this. Everybody's going to take a cold shower. Big time. <laughs> Shit, now not as cold as that last night. I'm taking that shower. <laughs> oh shit. What about you, Lito? Number three is uh, Juliana. Oh, more from the, from no from uh, the one you listed before. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's uh, it. It. I was mentioning earlier just everything about that scene. It's just the the, the description. You know, they're perfect nipple placement. They're so spectacular, and you know, he's no. cheating on his chick with her, like. It was yeah. like the forbidden fruit, you know, and you knew they both were going to get their asses <laughs> killed like a motherfucker. Um, so it was just, oh, I'm going to go back and watch that. For, for, forbidden fruit is a, I, I would say, a nice uh, kind of pun description there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. Oh, right, shit. So I'm, I'm at my number two. So my number two is she was already mentioned and she uh, probably the highlight of that film and. I said, if when I had that on VHS, rewinding and stopping that scene probably ruined the tape. So it's Debbie Suvori's and Friday Thirteen Part Five. <laughs> <laughs> great body. She had a fantastic body, not just boobs. She had a great body. And what's better than like two like nymphos just wanting to bang everywhere they can? Remember they were banging in. They were banging in uh the the farm where um freaking what the hell's her name I was all pissed off. Ethel. Ethel. Yeah, yeah, because where they want those two wackos. You keep those two wackos off my property. <laughs> yeah, all they wanted to do was, was have sex. Would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. Oh my God, Debbie Sue, and she, you said she looks great, but she's like this, like a she. She let her hair grow gray, which is okay because she still looks the same. Body's still the same, and uh, <laughs> that that con's <laughs> comment reminds me of a heat. Uh, Al Pino, she got a great ass. <laughs> great ass. You got your head. All the way up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Terry from Friday the 13th, part two. Oh, Terry. Shit. Yeah. Uh, she had a, oh, God, the, the body she had. Oof. Oh, yeah. Was that the one? Who's that one that jumps in the water? That's the one I went skinny dipping. With little butt, mm-hmm. little cheeks. Oh. The full frontal, you know, you got to see oh. everything in. Oh. It's, it's nuts. I'm probably ruin the tape. We need to behave. We need to behave. Yeah, that's what Ow. happens when you talk about parts. Parts is parts. Get hot in here. Where do we leave off? Uh, you, me. I don't know. Was, I know. I gave my yeah. I gave my number two, which is Debbie Sue. Oh. oh, okay. I guess is it me or Lurch? It's you. It's you. It's you, man. All right. Yeah, I think this counts as a horror film, but I remember being so in love with this this lady uh, back in the day, 1987, Angel Heart, Lisa Bonet. Mm. We got to see them. Oh, wow. Oh, Heart. yeah. I love me. That Lisa does Bill, count. Cos- Bill Cosby's daughter. Oh, man. The Cosby I, and show. that's because she was such a wholesome, 
you know, person mm-hmm. and oh, and then she's so beautiful and to get, I know they're not what you imagine, you know, like we we're thinking like you know voluptuous and all that stuff, but I remember Doesn't have to be. when I saw her and I saw them, I was like in awe. I was like, oh, and I actually liked that movie a lot. So I love Angel Heart. Yeah, I've watched that, that for was, a long time. That was also that was a fucking massive scandal at the time that she was yeah. that she did that yes. film and she did those scenes because yep. he was Cosby really show. really not happy about it which is ironic given what yep. we found out about him later but yep. uh man he that wanted, is a huge scandal he was well, she uh, married he, to um uh lenny kravitz at the time or was that before that i don't uh, know i, I think it's before yeah was that's that before, before that she was still young that was back in what 87 well, she got off oh, yeah. she, little, she went a little off the rails <laughs> uh, after uh Cosby mm-hmm. show. I loved her. Uh, I think it was an enemy of state with uh, Will Smith. I loved her in that. She was oh, at least a bonnet baby. Uh, uh, uh. Those titties throughout the Friday 13th remake. Yeah, all yeah, it was titties all over that. It's like they just tit, it was like titty, 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 titty. Not wrong with that. <sighs> Big time. What about you, Larch? So my number two, I can't, I can't make a list like this without her being on there. It's, it's got to be uh, PJ Souls and Halloween. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, that was a tough one to leave off this list because that, that, that would be a big honorable mention. They were nice. They were probably the first set I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. What well, did I steal my dad's magazines before that? I don't remember. I forget. <laughs> I don't remember. That's it was great. so long ago. I mean, think about that scene. You know, you get to see them momentarily, but then you really get to see them when she's being strangled by Michael. And to yeah, something, like. something about that has made it more erotic. You know what I mean? Like, you get to see him, yeah, and she's kind of like, you know, making these panting noises. It made it more intense to see them. And they're flapping. And My they're, titties it, don't flap. <laughs> yeah, I had to get the shirt from Gutter Garbs, man. They had oh. the shirt of that scene. Yes. He's so. just flapping. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what? I did. I read it. Um, she was married to Lenny Kravitz in '87, so that year. Yeah, I thought so because that's yeah. when she went. She kind of went a little uh, dangerous, a little off yeah. the rails with it because while she was still involved. Yeah. Because uh, I wonder if Cosby ever slipped or any and he put buzzes some put it buzz. It puts the pudding in the pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Agent Barbeau and, and some things. Her boobies were just like. Oh. What about tall man's tits at the beginning of fan? Oh yeah, round of applause. The, you can say what you want the, about the, the tall man, but he was a hot broad. Yeah, he had some nice. Tits. The lady, the lady in lavender, Kathy Lester. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Sexiness. <laughs> nice. Ow. Sexy shit. Right there, what did we leave off? Who just went, who went last? Uh, I'm next. It was Lurch, Lurch, Lurch. Uh, so, yeah, so, I went. Lito, I went. Lito. PJ. Lito. So mine is uh, someone that um, again I'll never forget who, where I was the first time I saw this scene. <laughs> I'll never forget pausing the the videotape and just staring at the TV like with my jaw hanging to the floor, <laughs> and it it kind of. If you know my wife, it kind of set me along a certain kind of type. <laughs> life. Is she watching uh, is she on the chat? No, I like how no. I like what Lito's doing here. I love this. I love what he's doing. Yeah. She not she she knows. She's very well aware. But uh yeah. Stacy Alden, the nurse from a Nightmare on Elm Street part three. Yes. It yes. just oh yeah. I mean, that was a life-changing, game-changing, holy fuck kind of moment. Because I had actually just seen um Vertigo. So earlier that year or it might have been during christmas the year before so i totally was like in love with kim novak and that type because they're both kind of the same type and then i yeah. saw stacy alden and it was like i don't even know what a brunette is anymore just yeah. i I'm, I'm all about the blondes so i was i was so just i, I lost all, all kinds of trust on that scene Cause I was like, anytime there's a hot nurse around, I was like, that's fucking Freddy Krueger, dog. He's fucking his. <laughs> I was like, that's not that's not a hot nurse, bro. And then she got ugly. She's like, Err. and then the tongue, and all that. She turned ugly real quick, man. <laughs> you know, and you know what's it, you know if you watch uh, Never Sleep Again, they talk about that that moment where they actually had planned to do more footage of Stacy Alden 
from topless from the waist up, but with the Freddy Krueger makeup on. And I guess they filmed some of it, but, and there's photos in the documentary of it. And it is so fucking disturbing to see like <laughs> her just standing there with her hands on her hips and Freddie's face on her like neck up. And you're just like, I, I, I'm going to be tormented by this for the rest of my life. So I, I didn't love the fact that, you know, Joey, you know, he was the quiet guy and he was reserved and all that shit, but he had a little bit of perv in him. So as soon as a hot yeah. chick is like, hey, come here, he's like, okay. <laughs> he fucking goes over there. He's trying to yeah. get laid. I was like, that is, that's, that's fucking awesome, man. So fucking awesome. A teenage uh, boy. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, come on. Who's thinking about Freddy when you're looking at that? Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, shit. That is such a good choice. I'm not so not but down to number one. My number one, it was my number one last year when we did an old podcast. It's still my number one now. She's fantastic. And same thing, I probably broke the videotape rewinding this scene back and forth. And it's <laughs> Barbara Crampton and Reanimator. Oh, nice. Nice. She's still got oh, it. She's still, and she's got it. still stunning. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. And the best is just like, where else are you going to see a movie? Where to go? I'm almost getting head from a se- from a severed head. That's very disturbing yeah. shit, but awesome at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, if I was, yeah. and, and like you think about it, because that's him, because the way the, the special effects are done, he's pretty much there and he's right yeah. there. And I'm like, oh God, I would, I'm like, I would play that part for free. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you do you want me to pay you? Do I pay you now for that? That's awesome. Slasher Fred's got a good one. Good job, Slasher Fred. Very nice. Number one, Branson Hart is Susan Bagley from the original Jaws. The re- oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You do see a lot more when you see the remastered version. You see a lot more of her. Absolutely. Gosh bless it. Gosh bless it. What about you, Joe? Number one. <sighs> I, I know Lido. I uh, mentioned them earlier, but I remember these were. These are still my number one to this day because I, it just it hits me in a special place every time I see them. Uh, it's your pants. <laughs> Pamela Susan Shoe Baby H two maybe H two. Ah man, she was the. I don't know. I can't. Even, I can't describe it. It's just that scene is just so special to me. So special, and they're so perfect, and they're just everything you want. They're everything you want. Look at that, Carl. Well, Look at that. Joe, uh, I was gonna say she's the only brunette in my top five, so yes, yeah, good man, good man. Yeah. I, I we came up with a list of ones, I think we did a list before of ones we did get to see. Like, these are ones we actually got to see. Now, there's a whole laundry list of ones we need to see, but we're never probably ever gonna see. So, oh, yeah. Carlos just realized <clears throat> that Lito's the leader from All Through the House in Final Girls Blood. But yes, he is, that's him. Yeah. Go back and watch our yeah. go back and watch our watch along around Christmas time when we watched the uh, all through the house with Lido and Ashley who directed it. Uh, no, Ashley who was in it and her brother Todd who directed it. <laughs> oh, Billy, yeah. you're funny, bro. Sorry, sorry. The most beautiful women ever was Veronica Lake. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Sharon oh, Tate. Sharon Tate. Oh God, man. Sharon Tate. Show, man. Stunning. I still look at pictures of her, and I'm just like, "Oh God, she was um, she was amazing." And my the first thing that pops in my head is like, "What the fuck was she doing with Roman Polanski?" He was like a torpy little creepy guy, yeah, and he, he turned out to be a torpy little creepy guy. Brilliant director, but torpy little creepy guy. Super yeah. super rich. Yeah. Yeah. Beyond yeah, the Valley of the Doll, good movie. Great list. Anybody got any honorable mentions off the top of their head? Wait, Lush, what's your number one? Oh, I'm sorry, Lurchy. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. You're you're good, man. So my number one. Lurchy's like, know, I'll just go fuck myself. I don't know if you guys have uh, seen this, but it's gonna be Anna Fauci and Cemetery Man. Ooh, I'm looking them up. I know the, yeah, I know the movie, but I, I didn't. I didn't see it. The oh. scene and everything, like she has angel wings behind her, man. They're in a graveyard. It's perfection, man. Mm, I have to write that down. I have to check it out. Mm. Mm. I love I suggestions on look on boobs. Look at. Hi, <laughs> right. fifty. Gonna be fifty-two in three weeks. Married for twenty-five years. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. Plus, if you like The Evil Dead, you'll like that movie. Okay. Hell yeah. Cool. Oh my gosh. So good. 
All right. Well, yeah, yeah, Carlos, go back and watch the episode. We have them on. We have Todd and Ashley on that episode. A lot of fun. That was awesome. Maybe we'll do it again next year if you guys want to do it. Yeah. Well, this to. year. Not next year. It's already this year. I was going to say, it's already this year. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it again. I have to turn off my Wi-Fi right, well, when I'm looking this stuff up because I want it to, you know. <laughs> sounds like the bottom of Joe's desk is also hitting him at a special place right now. <laughs> it, it sounds like Lito's got to go. Let Lito go. Let Lito go. <laughs> <laughs> He's, Joe's trying to deflect now. <laughs> You got it. You got it, buddy. He's like, no, let Leto go. It's fine. I, I don't. I don't have anything to talk about. He's like, one hand is busy. Go, let Leto go. Let jo Joe's. Joe's trying to. Have you met Ted? Have you met Ted? <laughs> so, I know. I know you said that this was not allowed, but the number one on my list is my wife. And, oh, uh, I love it. I love but, it. But, oh, that's but, cool, but man. we've all seen the movie she's been in. We know her, and there's no argument there. I love you. I love you. Okay, I'm, it's funny back. I mean, I'm, I'm changing my list now. My number one is my wife, too. That's my. <laughs> <laughs> but mine's actually been in a home. Um, so that's yeah. Well, that's because we, remember well, when we talked about Alito? I said, I said, wait a second. I said, your wife's been in a horror film. Are you gonna pick your wife? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. if you, I have you, to. We all can understand that when she's yelling at me, it's like a horror film. So you know, it kind of counts a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. She's getting after me. <laughs> plus, it's also plus it's also the truth. So. Oh, you're a sweetheart, dude. Yeah. Need to need to have a check with you. <laughs> How not to be me? That's what we need to talk about. And for those, and for those that haven't seen, go go watch uh, Final Girls Bloodbath. Is it still? Yeah. Where's it stream now? Where's it streaming now? It's available on Ashley's Patreon page still because it's still we're still uh, getting accepted to festivals, so we can't make it uh, public on like Shutter or any place like that yet. But I think the plan is to eventually sell it to a place like Shutter. So. It'll be available like all the time for everybody. That is awesome. Yeah. So you, if you'll when you, and when you see it, you'll see it. It's like when you see it, you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's yeah. So Lito plays the the killer in it, and it, Jen's his wife, who is also in it, and they were great. That, it was such a fun. I would love to see a full length feature of that. So would I. <laughs> I'm sure, but especially because I mean, it, we enjoyed it. it would get us and, paid work. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also fun when you see people you know, and it, and it was so, it was so much fun. And same thing with all through the house, because when we, we you know we talked to Ashley and we talked about it, I'm like, how great was she in that? It was, and it's it's great that so many people talk about that. So did you guys give away somebody? Who was doing the giveaway where they're going to give away one of the figures? Did you guys do that? Uh, Todd Todd was doing it through I think. The all through the house Facebook page, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if he did it already, if he gave it away, but he was giving away a duplicate of the figure that uh, I got. Okay, because I did see that, and, and I forgot all about it. To be honest with you. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool little collectible because I think there are only like two in the like world. So. Oh shit! All right, Joe, I can see Joe's face. He's already on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> see, I see. It. Whenever his eyes go down, I'm like, I know he's on his phone looking at shit. All right, what, 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 what. Hey, the, he's, uh, he's adding, he's adding that with the uh with the um never sleep again book. Yeah, yeah the the hunt never stops, bro. It does never. Stop. never Did stop. anybody have a, an honorable mention that didn't Ooh. make it on the list? Ooh. My honorable mention would probably be PJ. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Yeah, it was tough PJ. not to get her on the list, but uh, these are the boobs I just liked a little bit more, I yeah. guess. And uh, yeah, that would be my probably top. Honorable mention uh, and Elena Quigley in uh, yeah. Sign Like Daily Night. Uh, I was going to say um, Natasha, Natasha Handridge from Species. Or Species? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. She was a I was going to say uh, Britt Eklund from um, <sighs> Wicker Man. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Um, fuck, man. I'm going trying to go off the top of my head only. I don't want to look. I'm trying to see. Think of scary movies. Uh, I can come up with a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, I would put. I would. I know. I would birthday, put Allison, yeah? Allison Brie on there from Ooh. Scream Four. Ooh. 
Oh, yeah. Again, these oh. these aren't necessarily scenes where we saw anything, but like, yeah, you just can tell, or you can just know, you know. And it's like, oh, you know. <clears throat> and then the girl in this in the waterbed from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part Four. Oh, Do you remember her? That's right. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right, dude. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, oh, the Bill, the Funhouse titties. Yeah. yeah. I need to stop thinking about boobies. I need to stop. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back. Or we'll, we'll be back in a couple minutes. No, we'll be right <laughs> no more. No more brainstorm. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hit the head. Hit the head. So that's our top five boobies in horror. Let us know in the chat. Let us know after the fact. Thanks for watching our latest top five from an episode of That Horror Movie Podcast. We do That Horror Movie Podcast every Sunday night live at 8 p.m. on this channel. And every week we feature a top five that we all do together and share live with everybody in the chat. So if you have any ideas, by all means. Drop them in the comments below. Like this video. It helps everybody find this channel. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And we will see you on Sunday nights.